day 29 of the daily 30-day chess puzzle challenge. My name is Terrence B, and this is Better at Chess. Again, this is day 29. So let me move this up a little bit. So today, I have for my people. All right, we're going to go with the x-ray attack, the windmill. Uh, you know, let's, let's throw some under promotion in there. Um, skewer, definitely. And what else? Uh, you know, let's throw the pen in there too. All right. So, and, and all these topics are going to be subjects I'm going to be covering my tactics and strategy series with videos starting to come a week after the series ends. All right. If you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified when I drop new content. Okay, let's go. Start it up. All right. So, actually, you know what? Let's go back for a second. Let's go back for a second. Let's, uh, oh, okay. I don't want it too easy. Let's change this real quick. All right. Let's go. All right. So, what we have here. Okay, so it is white to move, and what I see, I see moving the rook here. That'll put the king in check. The king cannot go there because this pawn is here. So the king will be forced into this corner. And then I guess you can move these pieces up. Oh, no, no, no. You wouldn't want to do that because you don't worry about... Or, you know, actually, you probably move that rook right here because then that would track down this pawn. So let's try that. I'm gonna put the king in check. King's gonna move. Bam! Money. All right. Let's go to the next one. So, all right. So the king moved out of check. So now, oh, okay. I see. So we have a beautiful skewer. And what a skewer is a skewer is when you have the king and a very valuable piece, or just a piece, lined up. It can be horizontally, it can be vertically, it can be diagonally. And what you do with the skewer is you're checking the king so that you can get the king out the way so you can take the piece behind it. So by moving my queen here, I'm checking the king, but what my goal is to get this queen right here. So skewer, the king has to move out the way. And I have a wide open um area to just capture the queen which i would do all right and that's that all right what else we got here okay all right so okay i see this one okay so uh this one takes a little bit more um you know vision and practice or so to get but what I see is, so our opponent just moved the pawn up one because, of course, they're trying to promote. So they want to get another queen on the board, another rook, you know, whatever. They want to get another piece on the board so they can go after White's King some more. I see moving this knight. Originally, I saw moving the knight in this corner. But then that rook would just come down there, and then eventually that rook will have to take the knight. And it would take, you know, Black some time to promote, but they could promote in a few moves. Now I see moving the knight here, because that's gonna put the king in check where the king has to move. Say the king the king is gonna have to move there. You know, that's out the way. The knight here attacking this square and that square. And the rook also attacking that. This is the king's only move. So the king is gonna go here. Then we take the rook. After we take the rook, this pawn is either gonna stay there or just to get the move over with, they'll just move up one, and then a knight will take that piece, whatever that piece becomes. So we're gonna start there. King moves, we take the rook. Okay, they decide to promote to a rook. So, I mean, they could have under-promoted. They could have promoted to a, um, you know, a uh, lower piece. They could have said, hey, I'll just get a bishop or a knight. And th there's reasons for under-promotion. Again, that would come in my tax and strategy series, but we're just going to take that rook. All right. So our opponent just took our bishop. So what are we going to do? I feel like there's a check here. So I would definitely... S 
Oh, actually, you know what? I was going to say move the queen there to put the king in check. But that is not as... That's a good move. The greater move, the better move, is actually moving the knight here. And what the knight's going to do, the knight's going to put the king in check. And, of course, uh, black will just take with the bishop. However, the knight is uncovering... When the knight moves, it has a discovered attack on this queen right here. So that's why we're going to take this pawn with the knight, putting the king in check. And because black is in check, black has to get out of check. And it can't do that with the queen. So that means that queen is going down. So we do the check. They take with the bishop. We come and we swipe the king or queen. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so the queen moved up to, you know, launch an attack on our queen. You know, you know, it is what it is there. That happens. So what do we want to do? We could take the queen, then the rook will take it back. So that, that might, might not be the best thing for us. We could... Okay, and I see something else. So our queen could actually take this pawn. That puts the king in check. The king is more than likely going to move. There's... <gasps> I mean, the queen could come here. Queen, White's queen could come here. Uh, you know, attacking the um, the queen is here attacking the king. That can happen. Um, either way, white uh, black doesn't have to take that queen. Black can actually just get the pawn and the knight out the way. So let's start there. Okay, and the king decides to move. And since the king decides to move, you just go after their uh, knight. Why not? All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so white or black decided to take um, white's bishop. And now the bishop is attacking the queen. So what are we going to do? So I, I, I do see moving this rook over. And if the rook moves over, the bishop will attack the queen or not attack. The bishop will block or the queen will block. More than likely the bishop because, you know, if you don't have to lose your queen, why lose your queen? And the king, or the king will probably move. Let's try the rook. Okay. Okay, so the rook did that. The queen, uh, or the rook, or well, the bishop decided to block. So I want to say we just attack this uh, pawn. The rook will more than likely move over here, and then we can probably gobble up this pawn. We'll see how far it takes us. Okay, well, I mean, they're not going to show that, but I said, you know, that's kind of how you would play that there. That's how I would do it. Um, so this bishop is now pinned to the king. Um, and also the king, uh, black can't castle because this queen is here and the queen is attacking all these squares. And, you know, black would have to put themselves on both of these squares to even get to the side to castle. So black can no longer castle. So th this work is going to move over here just because this is where the protection is. And, um, yeah, so that's going to be that. And then white is just going to keep attacking black and creating more weaknesses. So this has officially become a weakness. Now, this, you know, just because you know, white has attacked over here, that doesn't mean that black can't castle. Black just can't castle king side. So this side of the board where the, these four rows were, or these four columns where the king it is, is the king side. These four where the queen is, is the queen side. So... Black's king side is weak, which is good for white because white wants to keep attacking that. Black sees that weak and needs to, you know, um, needs to play to her strengths and get back in the game. So let's go to the next one there. All right. So, ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. All right. No, not really. Um, so Black decided to bring the knight in. So their knight is doing two things. is attacking... Our queen and it's attacking our knight. If we move our knight to take this knight, this bishop comes in, takes the queen. So we don't want to do that. We can, however, do that. Right? We can move our queen to take that pawn. And you know, the king is gonna block, but it's all about how or black is gonna block, so, but it's all about how black blocks. Black could choose to block with the queen, and the reason that would be important is because our queen is in front of our king which means if a attacking piece such as a queen, um, you know, lined up um, with our queen, which is in front of uh, our king, then the queen would be pinned to the king. 
So anytime um, pieces are pinned to other pieces, we want to try to get those pieces unpinned as possible. Now there can be, you know, pins happen. Um, I mean, pins can happen. Like you could just be lining up your pieces on good spots and then you see a pin there. So you take it, you see a potential for a pin there. So you take advantage like this player probably saw that, okay, white wanted to bring their knight out and eventually, you know, whether their queen was here or here, they said, okay, well, my bishop is here. Let me put my bishop right here attacking this knight. So, and then of course they proceeded to add some pressure here by bringing the uh, knight in. So and the pressure with this knight is that this knight is attacking the queen. So white can't just take this bishop unless they want to lose their queen. So um, let's take that. Okay, and see, and that's what the queen did. So now the queen, black's queen is doing two things. It's attacking our queen, and it's also allowing itself to be pinned to the king. So neither one of these queens could move away from the file they're on because they would be putting their king in check. The only thing, the only thing you could do is just take the queen. So, and of course, the bishop took back, and now this knight that just moved in here is now a weakness, and you take advantage of the weakness by taking the knight. All right, let's do a couple more here. So, white decided to move their rook up one. So, um, okay. So, if you look at the board, you see that black has two pawns, a king, and a rook. White has one pawn a rook, and a king. So um, black is up a pawn right now. If I use this rook to get rid of this rook, because when you have the piece advantage, aka you have more pieces than your opponent, um, as long as the pieces you have left can checkmate your opponent, you start to get rid of your opponent's pieces. Because, you know, one, if you take all their pieces that they want to use for a checkmate off the board, they're not going to be able to win the game. You can still win the game if you have the piece advantage, but they won't be able to win the game. So they'll be, they don't want to lose. So they, there's a good chance they could lose or they can draw the game, depending on you know how the game is played. But when you have a piece advantage, one of the things you want to take advantage of is knocking pieces off the board. It's like knocking pins down in a bowling alley. So, um, so we're gonna take the rook. The pawn, of course, comes over. You're just gonna move your king over to the pawn. The pawn decided to promote to a rook. You just get that last pawn off the board. Now the king. Um, the king is far away. The king is, is this king within the square? So th this king right here will catch this piece, this pawn, because it's going to fall within the square. If this pawn moves up, uh, wait a minute. Does it fall within the square? No, actually it doesn't. So this king is not going to catch either one of these pawns. For, yeah, so this white's king is not going to catch either one of these pawns. So you can choose to move up which ones, whichever one you want to, to promote to a queen. Of course, this one's closer, so um, chess is about creating time, um, saving time, and taking away time for your opponent. So um, as you get better at chess and play more, you'll s that concept will make a little bit more sense. But when it comes to promoting, you want to play the move that's going to save you the um, it's going to save you the most time when it comes to promoting. And also, if you need to create time, it's nice to have an in-between move to do so. Having two pawns against a king, especially with the ones separated like this, if, say, if this, you know, this pawn stays here, but if this pawn was actually over here, and, say, the king was in the middle of the board, the king would have to choose, okay, which one am I going after? The thing is, they won't be able to go after both. So, having that extra pawn, you can move a pawn up, and the king will have to choose, okay, am I going this direction, or am I going this direction? And so, and then that other pawn is making time for you to move the one pawn is making time for the other pawn to promote another pawn is acting as a distraction so that's how that works all right let's do one more here okay so the pawn decided to take this pawn so what we are going to do okay so we see that um, Black's king is right here. We could move the bishop here that's attacking the king and forking this knight. The king will have to move out of check. Then depending on where the king moves, say the king moves up one, you can bring this knight here, and the king will either move up one more again, or, oh well, yeah, no, actually it would have to at that point. And then, let's see, where could Black go? I 
uh, maybe the black will just get this bishop in, or this rook involved here and then eventually come here. Maybe. I'm, actually, that pawn's there. The rook is going to come there. So, um, hmm. so there's that. Um, this could be even a case where, if, you know, if white decides to move there, then you just take the, the knight. Um, and then the rook will have to move out the way somehow. Probably you'll go back. And then you can come knock this pawn out. So, so yeah, I mean, this, this looks dangerous. But again, it's important to read the board and see what the board is telling you. So, and I'm hoping these puzzles allow you guys to better read the board. So, we're going to move this bishop here. White decided to move the king to uh, the right, further into the corner. So, we're just going to take the knight. Okay, they decided to uh, promote that pawn. That's fair. So, we're just going to take... Um, we're going to take their rook with our rook. And that's that. So, now, white is going to try to preserve this rook somehow, some way. Probably just by moving it back. And then... Um, yeah, then black is going to try to get some counterplay on uh, the king side over here. And just start bringing pieces over here to just slowly try to attack white's uh, king. So white doesn't have... I mean, white has protections over here, but right now, at least the way the board is set up, they're kind of vulnerable. So you want to try to take advantage of that. You want to find a weakness and attack it. But this is day 29. We have one more day to go, and then we are done with the 30-day chess puzzle challenge. So... After the uh, chess puzzle challenge, we'll be starting a tactics and strategy series. So I'm going to go back to my uh, scripted videos. You're going to be seeing a lot less of my pretty face. But, um, you know, you'll be getting a lot more content and deeper information. And you'll just learn more. And you guys hopefully will grow as chess players. Um, you know, once I get that series together and put it out for you guys. So with that being said... This is the end of the video. If you like the video, two thumbs up, or okay, oh, you know, one thumb up. You, you know, click like you use YouTube before. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you click click thumbs up button. Um, if you have a comment about the video or any ideas or anything you just want to see on a Better at Chess channel in the future, drop a comment in the comment section below. I read the comments, the comments, and I you know check out the feedback and see uh, what I can add for the channel and provide for you guys. Um, if you know somebody who would enjoy this video, please share it any way, shape, form, or possible. Also, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and become a part of Better at Chess Nation. With that being said, I'm Terrence B. This is Better at Chess. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.